Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we are going to display uh, all the products here on our home activity. So go to the end of studio and here we have our home activity. So first of all we need to uh, create a layout for displaying the products. So here you can see this layout, click here, right click here, click new layout resource file, file, file sorry. And the name of this one will be products underscore layout or we can say products product items layout so yeah now the next thing is uh, we have to design it I mean how we want to display the products on our home activity so go to text and here Change this constant layout to the relative layout, and now inside here we need to, or instead of using the relative layout, what I'm going to do is to use a card view, okay, so that it must look more beautiful. Sorry, not this one, this calendar, okay, card view. Which is this one? Android support. We see we get card view. Now we will change this height to wrap content instead of match parent. Margin from the top should be 20 dp. Margin start 15 dp and margin end also 15 dp. And the card elevation card elevation 15 dp and now inside here we need a relative layout should be match parent match parent and let's add a text view uh, the first one will be for displaying the product name match parent wrap content So we can say product, here we will display the product name, let me zoom it so that we can see it, how we are designing this thing. Text alignment should be at the center, text size should be 20 SP, text style should be bold and if you want you can change the text color for it to color primary dark and let's give ID to this so you can say product name and after this we need uh, an image view for displaying the product image so we can use uh, image view match parent 200 dp it should be below the product name scale type should be center crop margin from the top should be 2dp will be good and now let's give id to this so id is product image and we need a one more text view just to display the product description so here we can say i just copy paste the first text view okay now now let's change this to product description and it should be below the image view so we can move it below so you can say layout below id Copy this product image ID and paste that here. So you can see this and change this to product description. And the background color should be only color primary. Okay, here we can give primary dark 
and for the product name it should be only color primary so yeah and remove this bold color and also the text size for it will be 14 will be enough okay let's give it 16 okay and uh, yeah that's it this is our product image now is the time to access all these fields uh, on our home activity so for that uh, let's create a view holder class so for that i'm going to uh, create a package or you can say a directory by the name uh, view holder so where we will paste our, our view holders classes okay so click new on this okay and then new and this package and let's give it a name as uh, view holder and inside this view holder directory or you can say this package we are going to add a class java class so the first one is for the product okay so you can say product view holder click ok and in here we are going to access our uh, product item layout and all of its controllers so it should extends the recycler view dot view holder implements view dot on click listener So here we need a constructor so click here right click here and click generate constructor and after this we need another method on click so you can simply write on click and this will appear public wide on click click on that and this is the required method now the next thing is to access our fields I mean the edit text on uh, I mean these all these I mean the image view product name and all the product description text views in the image view so how we can do this second one is the product description so public text view and then we need to public image view let's give it a name as image view and let's assign IDs to it or you can say create a link between the layout in this image view so it is our image view item view dot find view by or dot id dot road. first make sure to import this uh, r okay import class and the id for the image is product image now let's copy paste this for the other two which are our text view basically so first of all change this to text view first one is product name product description and id for this is product name or the description we have id product description now we need to create an interface so click here new java class from here you can see this kind and click interface from here and now let's give it a name as item click listener and then press ok and here white on click comma int position comma boolean is long click instead of writing i mean uh, leaving it simple because we will be needing more interfaces for our, this project so we can create a folder or you can say a package for it by the name interface then click ok you can see this is our package now let's drag and drop this interface here refractor so you can see it is now inside this 
interface package or you can say this interface folder now we have to uh, access over this item click listener so I, it needs a view and a position okay when a user click on it you will understand it when we will be displaying our post on the home activity so whenever a user click on any post we will uh, basically use this method to send the user on click basically it will perform some functionality so when a user click on any post we will perform something that is to uh, move the user to the details activity where a user can see the details of any product so here we can say public white item click listener and we have to say set item click listener item click listener listener this dot listener sorry this not item listener okay so first we have to access our this interface here so we can say pub item click listener let's give it a name as item click listener let's use different name for it so that we cannot confuse in names okay so here we can say this dot listener equals to listener and inside this one click and say listener dot on click pass this view object you have to get the position so you can say get it after position false and now let's go to the home activity and by using the firebase recycler adapter we have retrieve we have to retrieve our product so here i'm going to create a method and here we can say on start and in order to use the firebase recycler adapter we have to add a dependency for that so go to the uh, build.gradle module app and let's add a dependency for that com dot firebase ui colon firebase minus ui minus or you can say dash database colon 3.2.2 and remove this slash there is no slash we can say com dot firebase ui firebase dash ui dash database 3.2.2 and we need to change our database versions also according to according to this UI database okay so we can change this to 11.8.1 For the Firebase Core, Firebase Database, and Firebase Storage, 11.8.0, and this is our UI database. So yeah, now let's click on the sync now. So you can see that the build is completed successfully. Now let's close this and move here and here. Now we can use the uh, Firebase Recycler adapter. Here you can see now it appears. Okay, Firebase Recycler adapter. But before doing that, we need to uh, add a query. To retrieve all the uh, products so we can say firebase recycler options here we need to add our uh, module class so we have to create that so click here on this model and here we need to add another Java class for which is for the product so we can say products click OK and all you're gonna need is to add here our data first go to the database we have our products node and here we have our these products okay so now we are going to retrieve uh, not all the information for each product just we need the description and the product name for now but later on we will retrieve the data and the date and time when we will be working on the product details when a user click on any specific post so yeah uh, the important thing which i want to tell you guys is to use the same names which are here okay 
so let's do that for the program p name and yeah p then we have description let me check description and the price so we have also to display the price first of all let's let me write all these here make sure to use the same spellings which are here pid date and time one thing which i forgot to write is the product price okay i forgot to display it here okay so let's go back to the uh, products item layout and let's quickly add this thing here okay so let's copy paste this here above from it we can paste this and here we can give it a name as product price and copy the id of it and we have to write this here and now let's change this to product price and let's give some margin now for the description so we can say margin top 2dp in the product price uh, text size will be 18 dp and yeah that's it now we have to access this on our view holder first so go to the product view holder and here we need to add this so we can set txt product price and let's copy paste this so we will change it product price and it is product price so yeah that's it let's close this now and now we have to add a default constructor for it so we can say public class name which is products this is our default constructor and now we need a constructor with parameters so let's generate that constructor with all these parameters so select all then click ok after this we need to set getter and setter for it so let's generate getter setter for all these okay select all in this thing so yeah that's it and now we have to pass here our products model class options new firebase recycler options pass the products here dot set query now here we need to create a database reference so here we can product reference inside on create we can say product reference equals to firebase database which is our products nodes okay which contain all the products this one okay and now we have to pass this to this query comma products dot class dot build semicolon and after that we need to add a firebase recycler adapter it needs two parameter one is the model class product the other one is the product view holder that contain our view products view holder and let's give it a name as adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter alongside with it this two methods are created also which is on bind view holder and on create view holder make sure to put a semicolon here and now first of all make sure to pass here options 
which is basically our Firebase Recycler option that contain our query and uh, here inside this on create view 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 equals we have to uh, access our products item layout here so layout in platter dot form and by using this view group object which is by the name parent we can say parent dot get content dot in flat or dot layout this capital R dot products items layout comma parent comma false make sure to put a semicolon here products view holder we have now to return this socket to the for products view holder class so we can say View products view holder view and return this holder now. And the last thing which is left is to display the data on the text field. So we can say by using this holder object, we can say holder dot txt product name dot set text to model which is basically the object for our view, uh, model class okay so we can say model dot get p name which is product name let's copy paste this for the two times okay and now here we need to display the uh, product description and the product price and the description we can say get description get price and here let's say we need to tell the user that this is the price price equals to and then the price and here we need to add dollar icon and the last thing is the image product image so here we can say picasso and for using picasso uh, picasso library we use basically to display the pictures i mean to retrieve it from the database and display it so for that we need to add a dependency so go to the build.gradle module app and let's add the picasso library here so we can say implementation com dot square up dot picasso colon picasso colon 2.718 and then click sync now and now let's go to the home activity back and here now we can say picasso now you can see it appears here picasso click on that dot get dot load model dot get image dot into holder dot image view and after that uh, we have to set the adapter so after here uh, this on create view holder here we can say We need to populate our recycled view so first we have to access it so here we can say private recycled view and first of all let's go to the home which is our content home okay content home and this is our recycler view and it is by the name recycler underscore menu so here we can say recycler view and then in our on create method Recycler view equals to find view by id or dot id dot recycler menu recycler view dot set has fixed size to true layout manager first come here recycler view dot layout manager 
let's give it a name as layout manager and now here we can set the uh, layout manager on our recycler room so we can say layout equals to new linear layout this recycler dot set layout manager to the layout manager and now come down and uh, here we say recycle dot set adapter adapter dot start listening now let's run the app the app is running now successfully now let's log in and test the app so here we go perfect I mean this is it looks so beautiful this is incredible you can see this the first one is you can see for each product this is the product name which is MacBook Pro then the price which is $800 then the uh, description of the product that is in case of this product which is MacBook Pro RAM 32 GB 3.3 Gigahertz processor turbo boost. I mean whatever the description you give to your products. You can see this It is iPhone 6 and it is available in Different colors. I mean here the product name price and then the description. So it is so beautiful. I mean this is incredible This is so amazing So yeah, that's it for this video and in the next video uh, we will be working on the cart and uh, we will allow a user to see the complete details for each product when a user click on the, let's say a user click on this first product which is iPhone 6 okay so I mean uh, on any product when a user click we will uh, show the description for each product to the user so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and uh, don't forget to follow me on my twitter facebook and instagram account take care of yourself and bye for now